Gamesmanship in tennis, <laughs> the classic. Gamesmanship in tennis is so rampant because of the nature of the sport. The fact that we do not have umpires, we don't have referees, and for the most part, we're really our own referees and umpires as we compete. The athletes have to call on themselves. So one of the things that I, what does gamesmanship look like, okay? To me, I've watched so many matches, and the juniors in particular, uh, gamesmanship can take the a form of someone accusing you of cheating or questioning your call really loudly. Are you sure? Oh my gosh. And they, get, and they make a big scene. And if you're a normal person, that's kind of embarrassing to you, but it's part of gamesmanship. Another really big one is when someone hits a ball really close to a line, they come up and they hit a would-be winner. And before you can call it out, maybe the ball's just an inch out and you're about to call it out, but they already go, yeah, come on. And now they've kind of made it really difficult for you to call it out. That's a form of gamesmanship. So the lesson is you have to be brave. Brave is the key word. I don't want to sit there with students afterwards, and unfortunately I have, after the match and they're complaining about all the gamesmanship that went on. And frankly, when it comes down to it, like, why didn't you do anything about it? They, they weren't brave. They could have called the line judge, but they didn't want to. Uh, so here's my rule. You've probably heard it before on video. Uh, if you are getting cheated so bad or there's so much gamesmanship going on, but you don't have the nerve or guts to call a line judge and activate the system that's already there, then you really forfeit your uh, right to complain afterwards, okay? So in this video with Marty and Carly on the court, we're gonna talk a little bit about those things. We're gonna show you the proper way to call a line judge on someone without making a scene. It's kind of the classic way to do it. So let's go on the court and talk about gamesmanship. Uh, handling gamesmanship, uh, that opponent that's doing that, basically you have to be brave. Uh, I see this scenario play out all the time in, in matches. Someone will play a point, they'll get a short ball, they'll hit a ball that's really close to the line, maybe a winner, and before you get to call it, they go, yeah, come on. Or maybe their friends do it, okay? You saw it wide, chances are they might have saw it wide, but now they've yelled and pumped themselves up. So what'll happen too many times is this person is not brave enough. That's part of gamesmanship. People are doing that. Another thing you have to be aware about with gamesmanship is people accusing you of cheating. Uh, there's certain people, you're one of them, I think, that you're, you're so nervous that someone might think you're a cheater that the, the best way to kind of rattle someone like that is to accuse them. And there's people that you'll play. They're kind of jerks. And they will do that as part of their game, gamesmanship. For example, they'll do it. Here's how you know. They do it loud and they do it so everybody notices. So if I'm playing you and I'm the jerk and you're the nice kid, um, I'll start questioning. It gets real close. Maybe it's, I'm, I'm stressing out because I can't separate myself with you. It's, the outcome's un uncertain. And you make a call that's close and I'll go, are you sure? And I'll say it's super loud, oh my gosh, ah. And now everybody's looking over there and how do you feel? Bad. <laughs> like dirt, you're confident it was out, but you're letting her succeed, all right? You have to be brave to say, you know what? Sorry, dude, I don't care if everybody looks. You can yell all you want. If you saw it out, you saw it out. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit about this gamesmanship thing. Um, your job when you're calling the lines is to call them accurately. You're never gonna call them perfectly. Uh, I've played tennis for 30 plus years. I've probably made literally hundreds of thousands of calls, maybe over a million calls of in or out. I doubt I'm a million in O, okay? Cheating is when you know it's out or in and you call it out. Uh, if you think it's in, or you think it's out and you call it out and it wasn't, that's a mistake. There's a difference between a mistake and knowingly cheating, okay? So if your goal is to never, ever, ever make a mistake, you're, you're asking too much of yourself. You gotta be honest. And, and really, it's you you have to answer to, okay? So that's just, I've seen kids, the nicer they are, the more they're victim to this, this gamesmanship thing, they kinda just fall apart and like, oh, they give up. Uh, they'll start messing with the score you know, all kinds of stuff. So you need to be brave. You have to stand up for yourself. My tip is bring people to the net. <clears throat> the worst thing you can do is get into a, a match where they're, that's not the score and you're 80 feet away. Yes, it is. And you're back and forth. If you're stressed out, just come to the court and also get help. One of the last things I'll tell you here on handling gamesmanship is too many kids are too chicken to call a line judge. But after the match is over, they'll tell me and the whole world uh, how bad the guy cheated. And then I ask, well, why didn't you call a line judge? Well, I don't know if they wanted, that, that's not right. Uh, I think if you're not brave enough to activate the system that's already in place and call for a line judge, then you forfeit your right to complain and, and whine about the guy afterwards. So um, you don't have to call a line judge in a, a jerkish way where you're like, oh my God, and you run off screaming. You can do it in the coolest way ever, like one of my college teammates did, where he thought he was getting cheated. After two or three times of questioning, he came up and said, you know what? We both want this match so bad. 
I'm going to get a line just to help us both out because I don't want to make a bad call and I don't want you to make a bad call. This will take the pressure off both of us. And my buddy left and he got a line judge. It was the coolest, less, least threatening way to call a line judge compared to what you see. So if you're afraid to call a line judge, just do it that way. But you really can't be um, you know, complaining after the fact that the guy cheated if you're not even really to stand up for yourself.